Hey guys, it's Michelle. I wanted to do a video a little bit different than some of my others. I've been really wanting to do this for a while. It's going to be in parts because I, like many girls, have so many of them. But, um, I wanted to do a shoe collection video. I just grabbed some of them. I have a lot of shoes, so I will show you, like, there's no particular order or style. I'm just going to show you a bunch of shoes in a video at a time. Anyway, a, a little side note before I get into, like, all girls who, every girl loves shoes. Who doesn't, really? Um... I always, when I was in high school, and I still have this little issue, I always doodled very unusual shoes on my notebooks and on paper and stuff like that. It was always one of my, ooh, what is that? I burnt myself. Ouch. <laughs> Random, sorry. I always doodled shoes and stuff in my notebooks. And one of the ones that I doodled, which I'm kind of ticked off about because I still think I came up with the idea originally years ago, was the ballet... You know how ballerinas stand on their toes was like, I think they call it pony heel. I don't know. I've seen the shoe now though. And I was like, damn it. I used to draw that kind of shoe where it's a ballet style, but it has a heel on it. Anyway, I wanted to go to FIT for shoe design, but I never did. It was just when I got older, I was like, I don't know. I just figured that it wouldn't be a job that, um, this is what I'm looking for. I didn't think it was as realistic as going for teaching, but then again, I can't get a job as a teacher, and I've tried, so, with my degree, so. You know, we live and learn, I suppose. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of my shoes, and we'll just get started. Some of them are just plain Jane's shoes, and some of them are not. I'm going to start off with my two pairs of flip-flops. I have more than two pairs of flip-flops, but I'm just going to start with the ones that I pulled out. They're kind of, these ones are kind of old. I use it when I go to the beach. These are, oh yeah, they're kind of dirty too. These ones are my Playboy flip-flops. They have pink glitter on them. I think I got these from uh, Spencer's. I don't remember. But those are my pink ones. They're normally my beach sandal. These ones I got at Walmart years and years ago, but I love them. Check it out. They're denim colored, but what I really like about them is this detail here. It's the zipper detail. These are probably like my favorites. Oh, and it's like sort of broken there. I hope they don't break. But these are my favorite. I love wearing these with jeans or shorts. These are like probably one of my go-to just because they're unusual and I love that zipper detailing. I think they were like $5, but these are like so cool. I love those. Okay, let's try another random shoe. Next are these from American Eagle. The American Eagle shoe. It is a beautiful wedge. It's got this um, purple suede detail on the top. And I believe that's leather, but it's kind of like rough. It looks like, yeah, it's leather. I can tell by the way it feels. What I love is the wedge itself. It's got this very pretty flower pattern and swirl pattern. I thought it was very interesting. Um, this isn't a shoe that, I don't think it's a shoe you can wear with everything. Um, it's one of those shoes that I feel speak for themselves kind of thing. Uh, I've only worn these a couple of times because of that, because I have trouble, like, I don't want to just wear with jeans. I want to, you know, dress it up sometimes. But I normally wear this with jeans because it's an, un I think it's an unusual type wedge, but I like that about it. Next, these aren't that old, and I've hauled these before, and I've showed you them in my favorites videos before. These are my coach, um, I forget the name of these. So maybe it says on the inside. The name. Uh, I forget that. I think this is called a Madeline. I don't remember. But this is my coach sneaker or flat, and this is like the most comfortable flat. I don't normally wear flat shoes, but this is like so comfy. I love these things. That was a gift from Joey. My coaches, I love them. My next one, these were also a Walmart shoe, but I loved them to pieces. They're one of my favorites, and I wish they still, because I've been to Walmart, I went there recently just to check out um, what they had, and they don't have this brand anymore, and I'm really upset because the shoes were so cute. This was an LEI. And this is like one of my summer go-to shoes just because I love the, the metal wear on it, as you can see here. It came in black as well, besides this copper, but I like the copper, as you can see. It's got this beautiful detailing. I love it. It's like a cross in the front. 
I think I paid $19 for these shoes and they are the most, it's very, very comfortable. I could run a marathon in these shoes. They are so pretty. And it goes with just about everything. This copper color, I mean, it's, you really can't tell in the camera. They are like metallic, but they're not overly metallic either. It's just beautiful. And I know that they had a couple of, like for like a year or two after I bought this, they had similar ones that had come out in different colors. And I am still upset because I don't know, maybe it's just where I live. I don't think LEI is available at Walmart anymore. And it's a shame because I love this shoe. And uh, LEI used to come out with some really nice tops and stuff. Okay. Next one. Beep, beep, beep. Is... And I know they got sued, but I mean, I really don't care if these work or not. I just think they're awesome looking. This is my Skechers Shape Up. And they're actually really comfortable. I like them because they're all glitzy. Like, this is my type of sneaker right here. Like I said, I really didn't care if they made you lose weight or anything. I just... They're a comfortable sneaker, and they're blingy. And that's really all I cared about. I got these... Right around when they were first talking about that lawsuit, I think I paid $10 or something like that for it. It was some ridiculously low price. And I was like, hey, why not? And people were like, you should return them and get your money back because they lied. I really don't care. I think they're a cute shoe. So, Next shoe is going to be this one. I love this shoe. It is such a cute shoe, and it's another go-to, especially in the summertime. It is made by Cupid. I love this heel. I love these super skinny, like, wedge heels. I think they're pretty. It's not real wood, but, you know, it's got that really pretty look to it, which let, makes it go with everything. And I know it came in silver, but I liked this. It's got a slight shine, but it's hard to tell. Um, it's not suede, but it's suede-like, and it's nice. It's actually really soft up on top here. And it's got the grommeting that I love. I love metal work on a shoe. What girl doesn't? Super comfortable. Looks great with short dresses and skirts. I mean, I've worn these with shorts. I have cheetah print shorts that this looks amazing with. But that's one of my babies. I got that one from Burlington Coat Factory about two years ago. It's one of my favorites. The same day. Now this one is starting to show wear and tear. Um, I'm not happy about why I had to buy this shoe, but it is a staple in my collection. Um, I had needed a shoe for my grandfather's funeral, unfortunately, and I didn't have any black... At the time, I didn't have any black shoes. Well, not for... that were appropriate for that kind of a thing. Anyway, this one is made by Anne Michelle, and it's this pretty black pump. Yes, it has a little platform on it. Some of you might not think that's appropriate, but at the time, I had literally a day, no, I had two days to find a pair of shoes and for Joey to get a suit. His suit was more important because he was pole bearer, so shoe was secondary on the list, and in the limited amount of time that we had, this was the most qualified shoe, so I'm sorry guys if you don't like it. But it has these two straps that come like this. And it's a very comfortable shoe, which was very good because I had two weeks to do. Uh, it wasn't fun. And I've worn these for weddings as well. It's just a great, great shoe. I love the way it looks, and it's very comfortable. And it was $16 at Burlington Coat Factory. So it was a reasonably priced shoe as well. Okay. Now to my fun shoes. These are all baby fats that I'm going to show you. And I haven't seen baby fat in a while where I live. Um... This kind of hurts my feelings because I love it so much. I love the kitty. I think it's so cute. First to show you is this sandal. And I know that this kind of doesn't look like much. It looks better on your foot. Trust me on this. I don't know why I bought it now. Because like it's just such a weird combination to me. It's got this pink stretchy like, like sweatpant waistband material. That, But it's cool because this actually like conforms to your foot and it's like makes it more comfortable. On the back, you got the cute baby fat cat, and it's this really rainbow metallic, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's got this rainbow metallicness on it. And then on the front, you have the cat, and then you got this grommeting, and then the red. I thought it was great at the time for um, Valentine's Day, but I've worn this with other outfits, 
I, I remember why I bought this shoe. I bought it because I was having issues with um, finding the perfect red heel. And this was red, but it wasn't overly done. So you could wear a red dress, but it had that little pop, which I thought was great. My next one that I'm going to show you, these were my go-tos when I was jazz dancing in the Elvis show. I still love them, but um, they're getting fragile because they are getting old. I love them. I, I have to find these again. I have to rebuy these. But this is a baby fat as well. Number one, it's got this super thin heel. It is a wedge, but I love that heel. I love this shoe. What shoe don't I love? On the top, it's got this baby fat cat. It's missing a few... Um, stones out of it but it's old and it's just this really pretty it's just the perfect shoe and i danced the night away in these in the jazz show because it was just one of those shoes it went with every costume so i did use more than one pair of shoes but this was my go-to because it was blingy i love that shoe and my last one is another baby fat now these were a christmas present for my mom a few years ago but i love it and for the right outfit, I pull these bad boys out. These are one of those special ones that I pull out on rare occasion. Look at this. It's a booty, as you can see. It's got this beautiful mirror here on the bottom. And it's got the baby fat symbol right there. Oh, I love this shoe. It hurts like hell. I am not going to lie. If it looks painful, trust me, this thing is extremely painful. It's about comfortable for, we'll say, 20 minutes not even it is not a comfortable shoe but like most girls we wear uncomfortable shoes and this one i think is worth it and i pull this bad boy out for those very special occasions because sometimes it's worth having your feet hurt and this is one of them anyway guys so that is one of my videos that i'll be doing i will be doing more shoe videos just random ones i just think it's fun because i love shoes like i said i wanted to be a shoe designer at one point and i absolutely adore shoes like everybody, every girl does, or boy, whatever. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.